back and back. This is the time, this is what you've all been waiting for. The students are ready and excited to come on and present to you a fine line. They have waited for a long time to be on stage. This production was meant to get the stage in 2019. Of course, we all know what happened and everything was postponed. Our lives were thrown on hold. But they're back and they're ready to perform. I want you to know these kids have worked extremely hard. They have not, many of them, most of them have not been on stage for anything other than maybe, you know, something way back then, but certainly in their high school years. In fact, the grade 12 students were in grade nine. Some of them were to be in this very production when it was shut down. So they're excited to, they said, we want to do the same play because we want to do the leads. So the grade 12s almost got on stage in grade nine. So really, this has been a big, big, big journey for them. They're peaking at just the right time. They put an amazing amount of work in, and I'm very, very proud of them. Let's give them a big hand as the house goes to life. Oh, like no prom if her dress doesn't arrive. Uh oh, 
Stanley and Howard talking about you and the prom. Ooh. Wow, that's flattering, but I can't afford a dress. Oh, I don't have a dress yet either. You're both going to prom. You girls don't need a silly dress. But I want a dress. <sighs> I think I want to ask Max to the prom. Go on, then. I don't know. What's the holdup? Just ask him. He did promise Lulu way back in grade school. Ugh, does that even still count? He probably doesn't even remember. Just ask him. No. Maybe I'll go ask him for you. Oh, whoa. Maybe I'll go to the prom then. So it's decided. You're both going to the prom. We want to. That's great, but we gotta figure out a way to get you girls your dresses. Well, there's a will. There's a way, right? Well, we have the will, so we will figure out a way. I know what to do. Oh yeah? What's that? Break Lulu's legs! Whoa! Both of her legs? Ouch! I am not gonna break Lulu's legs! It would stop her from dancing. Good point. <laughs> if we don't have our dresses, I don't know what we're gonna do! We will figure something out! Honestly, girl, your support means the world to me. This whole prom thing, it feels like a pretty steep uphill battle. I don't know what to do. I'll tell you what you're not gonna do. You're not gonna stay home on account of a silly dress. Ah, uh, fine. You girls win. To get used to it. <sighs> it's not meant to be. I'm not meant to go to the prom. Linda, you have to talk some sense in her. You either go ask him or stop whining to us about it. Whoa, 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 Linda. Cut her some slack. I mean, girls don't ask boys. <coughs> why not? Because they don't. That's why. Obviously not matriarchal. It's a rule. You girls rule. We're gonna get we're gonna get their dresses, won't we, Nancy? Uh-huh, absolutely. You do that for us? Of course, in a heartbeat. And you girls would do the same for us. You girls are the best. We know. <laughs> you need to ask him already. He might say yes. You never know your luck in a big city. He might say no. What do you think I should do? Do you want my permission? Want my grandma's? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, why are you looking at me? Do I look like dear Abby? That's it, Betty. It's a small idea. Oh, asking Linda's grandma? No, writing a letter. Dear Abby, we oh, are gonna have so much fun. We're gonna be the bells of the ball. Unless, unless what? Unless the boys cross the line again. Let's not think about that right now. Yeah, let's think about that big white limo that's gonna cruise by and pick us all up. Yeah, and that handsome. Harry Grant type shuffler. Why, Georgie? Chauffeur. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> no, she didn't. He'll shuffle in, all decked out in his black and white tuxedo, <laughs> like a penguin. <laughs> He'll hold the doors open for us, tipping his hat into the curtsy bag. You girls have all got kooky. You know that? Well, it can't hurt for a girl to dream a little. After all, this is our prom night.
I was supposed to go to the movies with Tony. Was? Yeah, was. Why aren't you? He lost the tickets. He lost the tickets? He lost the tickets? Oh, he lost the tickets. Can you believe it? No, not really. He did. If he lost those tickets, then I'm the monkey's uncle. Hey, isn't that him right over there? Yeah? Does he look like a guy who just lost the movie tickets? Wait, if I didn't know better, I'd say... You'd say what? Can I just spell everything out for you guys? Spill the beans already, I mean. Don't you see what I'm seeing? Tony moving in on that cute chick. So what's new? What's new is Tony moving in on a cute West Sider chick. She's a West Sider? How can you be sure? Just look at her. I don't think she has a side. Why is she even here? I heard she's Mr. Appleby's niece from out of town. I heard her mother just died. Oh. Can we give you a hand, Irene? What for? To take your big foot out of your mouth. Not funny. Kinda is. So what? She's a West Side. What's the biggie? What's the biggie? Weren't you here tonight? They're forgetting their place. It isn't like that anymore. Or at least it shouldn't be. Plus, someone's got to change the scene around here, and it might as well be Tony. Well, Tony doesn't know what he's in for. Look, Tony is a big boy. Let's buzz off and let him make his own choices. You two can buzz off if you want, but I'm going to find out what he's saying. I mean, should we? I know you want to. Not me. I'm going to split. Okay. See you later, Elliot. No, I'll cry for that. Do you really don't remember me? Should I? Well, we met just a moment ago, over there. Remember me, my jacket. My books. That was you? Ouch. Yeah, yeah, I get it. <laughs> well, I was just over there, my little sister, and I uh, saw you. You noticed me sitting here alone? Yeah, I noticed you sitting here alone. And I thought. And thought. And thought, maybe. Uh, do some company? Because I was sitting here alone and you thought I looked lonely? Yeah, I mean, no. See, the thing is, I got these, uh, I got these tickets for the driving movies tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I was supposed to go with my little sister, but she kind of got something flaked out. So I was wondering. You were wondering? I was wondering. Yeah. You'd like to go with me? I don't even know you. Right, right, yeah. You don't know me yet. See, I was thinking, if we went to the driving movies that, uh... That I could get to know you? Yeah. No. No? Look, I'll give you points for Moxie, but I don't know you, and until I do, I'm not going to be with you or any other stranger. Okay, okay, that's cool, that's cool. I can dig it. Let's start again. My name's Anthony. Anthony Sorelli. Friends call me so. I have to go. I didn't get your name. That's because I didn't call it, Anthony. I'm enjoying the movies. She sure put him in his place in no uncertain terms. East side or west side? I like her style. We have to count. What? That her brother's a conniving little sneak who sold her up to flirt with a west side girl? She's from. It's about trust. Do you really want to be the one to drop the hammer and smash the trust between a brother and a sister? I don't want to smash anything, but Kit needs to know. It's your funeral. Maybe Tony should be the one. <coughs> the dirt will all come out to the wash, but Catherine will get caught in the rigor. You can't jump away. Sometimes I wish I did. Oh shoot! I have to set the table before my dad gets home. Don't forget to study for Kaiser's math quiz. Will I see you at the nine later? If I get my homework done. She's playing with fire, if you ask me. 
She's bound to get burned. Tony is kind of cute. What? In an unusual, unattractive sort of way. <laughs> Much better. I heard Catherine and Maggie talking about how dumb these sides could be. They see petty arguments every day working in the diner. Is it possible they could be right? No, of course not. They're always talking complete nonsense about how we should all just forgive and forget and let bygones be bygones. Holding a grudge will only take you down. <laughs> no, that's a whole lot of hogwash in my book. It's not a bad idea. We could just let it slide. I don't think so. So what? It's not like we can do anything about it. She needs to learn what's what. What do you mean? Wait until Stanley finds out about this. He'll make mince me out of that chump, Tony. <laughs> Stanley's not gonna find out. I mean, how's he gonna find out? You're not going to. Tell him. Are you? You can bet your sweet life I'm gonna tell him. It's not my life I'm worried about. It's Annette's. She brought this on herself. Aw, uh, come off it, Gloria. We can't rat her out. You know what Stanley can be like. Annette should have thought of that before she turned colors. I said I ain't got no grin on my face. Boys, Tony says he ain't got no grin on his face. No grin? <laughs> no grin. No grin. <laughs> then what are we supposed to call? That Texas size chiclet field upside down brown that's letting up that lopsided mug of yours. Yeah, what are we supposed to call it, Tony? The only thing lopsided around here are these melons. But twin your ears that you try to call brain. Oh, oh, so that's how it is. Yeah, we can't see that our good buddy Tony here is. Is what? It's Twitter payment! <laughs> Don't tell me. He's finally running on all eight cylinders for just one girl. That girl must really be something, Tony. I think this time he's really blowing a gasket. Yeah, a love gasket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Twitter. You guys are blowing a gasket, not me. I ain't Twitter anything. You're gonna have to try harder than that to convince us, Tony. <laughs> yeah, cause we ain't, we ain't buying what you're selling. Okay, okay. So I met a girl. Hey, 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 hey. met a girl. No, Tony no, no, no. met a girl. Shocking. <laughs> Call the print press, cause we got a headline for tomorrow's newspaper. And here's what it'll say: Tony met a girl. <laughs> Tony met a girl. You guys are all. Off your rocker. And now he's Twitter paid it. It's not like that. Tony met a girl. She's different. Looks like he finally made it. She's not like all the others. Tony finally met a girl. Boy, she's got my head a spinning. His head is in a world. My head is in a world. I can't stop myself from grinning My heart just won't stop thumping My mind, it won't stop spinning It's true she's really something Cause my blood just won't stop pumping I finally met a girl Doom, 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 doom Tony met a girl <laughs> All the cylinders are snapping He finally met a girl Now it's wrong Happened. He finally met a girl Who'd have thought that it would happen He finally met a girl Doom, doom, doom Not like any other girl She's got my eyebeams flashing Better keep your eyeballs on the road So you don't end up crashing She sees the world through different eyes Her ways seem quite old-fashioned I finally met a girl Doom, doom, doom So he met a girl <laughs> She's made his heart begin to soar He finally met a girl She's the one that I adore 
He finally met a girl Never felt like this before He finally met a girl Doom, doom, doom Tony met a girl All the cylinders are snapping He finally met a girl Now his rocker arms are tapping He finally met a girl Who'd have thought that it would happen He finally met a girl It is now time for Act 2. Let's give the students a big hand. And we will have a two-minute interlude in a blackout. Well, the yeah. Tony met a girl, and now he's Twitter painted. Tony <laughs> Don't you guys have someone else to entertain with those pea sized brains of yours? That girl must be really far out, Tony. She's got you on cloud nine. She is the cat's meow. She sure got your engine burning. <laughs> you know, it's just something about her. I just can't put my finger on it, you know? She's just not like the rest. Well, Tell us her name. Her name? Yeah, Tony. Tell us her name. <laughs> you do know her name, don't you? Her name. <laughs> no. No? No. So you fell head over heels for a girl, and you don't even know her name? <laughs> she knows mine. Oh. <laughs> That's slow. She knows your name, but you don't even know hers? Well, she's new in town. New in town? I haven't seen a new chick in town. When did she roost? She was at the diner last night. I didn't see any new girl at the... Wait. I hope you're not talking about Applebee's niece, are you? Because everybody knows that drawhead Stanley has got his eye on her. She's a West Sider? She's not a West Sider or an East Sider. She's not from here. It doesn't matter where she's from, Tony. And the word on the street is Stanley is saying she is his girl. And that makes her a West Sider. There's a code. Yeah, well, maybe the code's getting outdated, huh? Stanley doesn't own her. So what are you saying, Tony? You know what I'm saying. Careful, Tony. You better think long and hard on this one. The code has been in place ever since our grandparents first arrived in this country, and you know how they were treated. Don't have to remind me. Kinda sounds like we do. Are we done here? <laughs> what has gotten into you, Tony? Look, Eddie, you know as well as I do, times are changing. Not as fast as you might think. Yeah, well, if we don't do something, who will? All I'm saying is you don't have to be the hero all the time. It's not about that. And you know Stanley has had his sights on that girl ever since she arrived. I'm not worried about Stanley. Look, Tony, I'm your best friend. You know I'm in your corner. I'm just saying be careful. That's all. We don't need no more trouble. You know I got your back no matter what. Look, I gotta split. Right, I'm gonna stay here for a bit, clear my head. You chill? Yeah, sure thing, Tony. I hope you know what you're doing. That's all. And that's locked up with your guys. Nothing! 
That little grease ball's gone too far this time, and he's gonna pay. They should know their place by now. I should stick a needle in his eye. <laughs> Do you guys ever listen to yourself? Not if we can help it. <laughs> you guys can't keep living in the past. Things change, boys, in an instant. And that's a fact. She means instant. Oh, like the pudding. I'll give you a fact. And that style is drawn. Everybody knows it. And that doesn't know it. What did you say? You heard her. Boy, if she were to say- If I were a what? If I were a girl, I'm a girl. He didn't say that you weren't. He didn't have to. It's clear that our opinion is not welcome here. So then, as are we. Let's round. Whoa, wait a minute, girl. You only felt time to uh... Time? No more minutes, no more seconds, no more time. Unless you think it's time for change. You don't have to get so sore about it. Wait, look, I'm sorry, all right? I shouldn't have lost my cool. You're sorry? Words don't cut it, Stanley. Yeah. Then you see back to action. Well, we plan to back them up with actions. That's exactly what needs to change. And it's all about a girl. It's about being a man. Yeah! It's about <laughs> some honor. Honor. <laughs> honor? The honorable thing to do is let go of the past. And what if we can't? Then there's got to be a better way. Make it sound easy, like we should just give in, right? But it's not that cut and dry. We won't give in without a fight. It's, it's a, a fine line. line. We're all walking here. It's no longer crystal clear. What's going on is not okay. Things have always been this way. We can't keep acting and believing that we're better than all others. It's time to make a change and accept them as our brothers. But there's got to be a better way. You can't just snap and erase the hands of time. You can't turn the years of history on and dawn. Times are changing. Why can't you see? Things can't remain the way they used to be. You all think you know so much. You don't want to know what I think, Stanley? Here's what I think. There are two choices. Love or hate. You want to be a real man? Make the right choice. And you want us to change? Yeah, now you're catching on. I always knew these boys were smart. <laughs> Not that smart. <laughs> <laughs> you boys don't get it. Looking down on Tony is hate. He stole my girl. She's not your girl. You just wanted to be your girl so that she won't be Tony. Maybe you're right, but I can't let him win. Oh, is that what this is about? Winning? You're girls. You don't get it. There you go again. Maybe we are too much to think real change is possible. I believe it. Let him know. Later, boys. Man! No. <laughs> we'll get up then! <laughs> He thinks he's gonna tell me what to do. He's got another thing coming. If I say Annette is my girl, then Annette is my girl, and that's that. <laughs>
don't say I can't go with other boys. Oh 
It's so dreamy. I can hardly, hardly recognize the place. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah, this place really shines up. I can barely recognize the joint. As for you, Maggie, you're not a waitress. Not tonight. Tonight you're a graduate, and it's time for you to get ready for a big event. Now scram! She thinks Mr. Appleby. You guys, tonight, you're, you guys are here to serve. Next year, you'll be served. The grass is coming. Everyone, check everything! They're coming! Already? All right, everyone, uh, get in your places and remember, you all graduate next year. <laughs> is everybody ready? We think so. Maybe. Not really. <laughs> Oh, wow. 
Everything turned to 
rest. But seriously though, we're glad you're okay. Me too. How's your head? It's okay, it's fine. Oh, you gave us a big scare. I thought, we all thought that you... I was foolish, Georgie. Stanley, I ran in front of your car. I wasn't thinking clearly. I can't imagine what you've been through. I'm so sorry. Will you ever forgive me? Me? Forgive you? I was thinking the other way around. I could have killed you. Hey, clean slate. After what I just did to your girl? Hear that, everyone? Stanley here says, the net is my girl. <laughs> what do you say? I say, maybe. Okay, <laughs> I'll take that as the ask. <laughs> you hear that, everyone? Tony's gotta go!